Hello everyone, I am Karan Masu. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is find the string in grade. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given a 2D grid of n cross m that is n rows and m columns of characters and a word, find all occurrences of given word in grid. We need to find all the occurrences of that word in the grid. A word can be matched in all eight directions. So it can be horizontally right, left, vertically up, down and in all the four diagonal directions as well. It can be matched in all eight directions at any point. Word is said to be formed in a direction if all characters match in this direction, not in zigzag form. The eight directions are horizontally left, horizontally right, vertically up, vertically down and four diagonal directions. Basically what it is saying is that we are given a 2D matrix of n rows and m columns containing characters and we are given a word as well. We need to find all the occurrences of this word in this 2D matrix. Now this word can be present in this 2D matrix in any of the 8 directions. So suppose our word is geeks, let's say. So somewhere in the matrix it can be present from left to right. So it can be like this somewhere in the matrix so let's say these are the cells in a particular row it is present like this it can be present from uh, in the horizontally left direction so it can be like this g double e k s it can be present in vertically up direction so g double e k s it can be present vertically down so g double e k s it can be present in all the four diagonals uh, directions as well so it can be g double e k s in this direction or in this direction or it can be present like this or it can be present like this as well. Remember in a particular direction it should be present continuously in that direction only it cannot be in zigzag manner. So in a matrix if G double E K S is present in this way okay uh, these are the cells then this is not valid okay it should be continuously in any of the eight directions okay so it can be present in any of these eight ways now let's read for the note the returning list should be lexicographically smallest if the word can be found in multiple directions from the same coordinates the list should contain the coordinates only once basically we need to return a list containing all the coordinates of the cells starting from which the word is found in at least one of the directions out of the eight directions. So we need to return this list in lexicographically smallest order. Okay. And what it said is if from the same coordinates word is found in multiple directions. So let's say it is present in right words also and bottom also. Then also we will consider that cell only once. Okay. So we need to return that list. Okay. Now let's see this example. Uh, so it is uh, 2D matrix, first row is ABC, second is DRF, third is THI and the word given is ABC. The starting coordinates of uh, the word ABC present in the grid is 0, 0, right? Now let's look at the second example in a bit detail. So what I can say is, see here it is ABAB, right? Then it is ABEB, right? Then it is EBEB. And the word which we need to find is A, B and E. So A, B and E is present where? Here the starting coordinate is what? First row and zeroth column. Then A, B is present here. What is the starting coordinate? Zeroth row and zeroth column. Then A, B is present here in this way. What? Uh, these are the directions. What is the first coordinate? It is zeroth row and second column. So our answer should be 0, 0, 0, 2 and 1 comma 0 because we need to print them in the lexicographical order. So basically which comes first in dictionary should be printed first. So 0 0 will come first then 0 2 will come and then 1 0 will come right. So we can say here 0 0 0 2 and 1 0 right and then the explanation is given. So our task is to complete this function which takes grid and word as the input parameters and return a list containing the positions from where the word originates in any direction. So basically we need to return a list of cells starting from where we can find the given word in at least any of the eight directions. Okay. If there is no such position, we will return an empty list. The expected time complexity is big of n cross m cross k where k is a constant and expected space complexity is constant and then the constraints are given. 
So now if we talk about solving this question, see the question is quite simple. Basically, we will return all the cells such that our word originates from that cell in the given grid. Uh, and it can be in any of the eight direction. It can be at least in any of the one directions for that cell. Now, so what we can do is see, we want the lexicographical, uh, we want the list to be in lexicographical order, okay? So what we can do is see, suppose this is our 2D matrix. Then we can start traversing from the first row and we will cover all the columns. Then we will go through the second row starting from the first column, then the third row. Why? Because this is 0, 0, this is 0, 1 this is 0 2 this is 0 3 then this is 1 0 so basically we will traverse the uh, cells in their lexicographical order only so first we will traverse this then we will start from here this then this then this and then this and for each cell what i will do for each cell i call a function exists which will check whether that word exists starting from this cell in any of the eight directions right it can be in any of the eight directions okay so now see starting from this word i uh, this cell suppose this is i comma j i need to go in all eight directions first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth now one way to do this is we make eight different functions for we make eight different functions for all the directions and then for, we call all the eight functions one after the other for each cell and if any of them returns true we will add that cell to our answer list but instead of making eight functions what we will do we will call we will make only one function to check whether the word exists but we will also pass the directions so we will keep changing the directions so what we will do see if i go from year to year the row number will remain same, the column number will increase by 1. Here, the row number will increase by 1, column number will increase by 1. Here, row number will increase by 1, column number will remain same. Here, row number will increase by 1, column number will decrease by 1. Here, row number will remain same, column number will decrease by 1. Here, row number will decrease and column number will also decrease. Here, row number will decrease but column number will remain same. Your row number will decrease, but column number will increase, right? So, can I say the direction in this moment is 0, comma, or better to say, let's say the direction in this moment, let me write it here. The direction in this moment, uh, this direction is 0, comma, 1. The direction here is 1, comma, 1. The direction here is 1, comma, 0. The direction here is 1, comma, minus 1. The direction here is 0, comma, minus 1. Here it is minus 1, comma, minus 1. Here it is minus 1, comma, 0. And here it is minus 1, comma, plus 1. So basically what I mean by this direction coordinates is that if you keep adding that direction value to the cell, it will keep moving in that direction. So for example, let us consider 1 and minus 1. So we want to traverse in this direction. The direction values are 1 and minus 1. So if I add 1 to i and minus 1 to j, it will be i plus 1 and j minus 1. If I again add 1 to this i plus 1 and minus 1 to j minus 1, it would be what? It will take me to i plus 2 and j minus 2. Then again if I add, it will take me to i plus 3, j minus 3. Basically, it will keep traversing in that direction. So what we will do, we will traverse this cell in this uh, row wise so that we traverse in lexicographical order. For each cell, I will call a function exist which will check whether the word originates from that cell and is present in any of the eight directions and how will it, it will do? He, uh, we will take all the different combinations of this 1, 0, 1, minus 1 and so on so that we can go in all the eight directions. And if our word is present in any of the eight directions, we will immediately return true, add this cell to our answer list and move forward to the next cell. And if it is not present in any of the eight directions, we will not add it to the answer list and move on to the next cell and again do the same procedure. Now let's look at its actual code. So now if we talk about the implementation, see I need to return a vector of vector. So I have taken that as answer. Then I have taken this vector P which contains two elements. So basically whenever one cell will be valid, such means 
the word can originate from that cell and exist in any of the eight directions i will initialize p uh, the elements of p as the row number and column number of that cell and then i'll push back p into the answer right then i have taken some variables uh, so these x and y will represent the directions so minus 1 and 1 will represent a particular direction so suppose i am at i comma j then i minus 1 and j plus 1 so the row will decrease and column will increase so this is i minus 1 and j plus 1 similarly 0 1 1 1 1 0 and so on these are the eight directions right and i have taken as the number of rows m i have taken as the number of columns and s i have taken as the word size size of the word then for each and every cell i'll call the function exist and i'll pass the grade word uh, the cell value i row number and column number Le uh, number of rows number of columns length of the word and i'll pass this direction array also x and y so i can use it and uh, traverse in all the eight directions if it returns true i'll uh, note the row number and column number in my vector p and then push that vector into my answer vector and finally return the answer vector now let's see this exist function so now if we talk about the exist function so these are the input parameters as we discussed and what i am doing is i am taking a variable direction which will go from 0 to 7 so it will pick the direction value from the x and y row or uh, arrays okay so initially i have marked i1 as the i and j1 as j that is the starting cells k i have taken as 0 k will be used to increment the index of the word okay then uh, x1 is x of direction so basically x and x1 and y1 will be the direction coordinates in which i will have to move so this is the index direction which goes from 0 to 7 and it will pick up from the x and y array then while i1 is greater than equal to 0 and less than n and j1 is greater than equal to 0 and less than m so basically i am checking if i am not going outside the 2d grid okay and the uh, k is less than s so the word is still left to, to check if the kth character in the word is equals to equals to the uh, ith row and jth column character of the grid if it is true we'll check for further characters so i'll increment i1 in x1 direction i'll increment j1 in y1 direction and i'll increment the value of k but if it doesn't match i'll immediately break it because now I, there is no point in moving forwards in that direction so i'll break it finally after coming out if k is equals to is equals to s it means that we have traversed the complete word then i'll return true that okay the word is present in at least one direction and if after running this uh, for loop in all the eight directions if the word is not found anywhere it means i have not returned true any time then finally i will return false that this word does not exist what would be the time complexity and space complexity c for each cell we are traversing and in each cell we are looking for the word of length k in all the eight directions so this would be our time complexity i can say big o of n cross m cross k where k is the length of the word what would be the auxiliary space see we are returning vector of vector uh, that is our answer to the vector and it can contain at max n cross m elements so the auxiliary space would be n cross m now let's submit this code so let's submit it so we have solved this problem successfully i hope you have understood this solution completely thank you